Hey, it's Mike coming to you from PinocchiosFarm.com. Just want to share a quick video with you. Uh, this last uh, December, we done some trenching, ran to trencher, and we done all we could. We just ran out of time with the trencher, but uh, along the shop here, we've trenched. We've got part of our water lines ran, and I'll just kind of pan this around here so you can see. I'm filming this with my iPhone. So you can see over there where the blue water lines are at. And that's that's as far as we got we got uh, part of that's got trench shares electric as well but what happened is where we drive across here a lot I had just struck that off level with the uh, trencher because we do cr drive across it back here I left it mounded up because I knew that it would settle and of course it did uh, but out here where we drive we just had such a wet December and January that uh, this is just really settled a bunch so what I did is I took my wheelbarrow and you'll see in the pictures here on the blog post uh, took the wheelbarrow hauled some of this dirt from right here and I just wheelbarrowed it right over here dumped it a lot of extra work because my tractor's not running right now but you know what it's it's exercise so just a good way to get to get a good workout in wheelbarrowed some over there this is the main area that we drive across and I wanted to get it filled up this has got rock and, and dirt, some clay in it. So the tools I used is uh, wheelbarrow, garden rake, shovel, and I always recommend a pair of safety glasses. I did hit a few rocks and flipped up and uh, hit me right in the safety glasses, so I'm glad I had them on. And of course, a pair of leather gloves is always helpful, but I uh, just wanted to share this with you. That you can do trench filling without a tractor. All right, so I'll see you in the next video, and we'll uh, we'll proceed onward with this uh, with this project. All right, see you. Have a great day.